Hi again, Jamie Beltran here with Beltran Properties and EXP Realty, and I wanted to uh, introduce you to my friend Brad Hansen. Brad is with Academy Mortgage and the first team. Brad, thanks for joining us again. You bet. Glad to be here. Awesome. Awesome. So today, Brad, we're going to chat a little bit about the future of prices mm -hmm. and the strength of equity in the Portland market. Um, so the question I have for you is, what are you hearing and seeing with regard to the future of home prices? Yeah, that's a great question. It really is um, kind of what the way you asked it was really good, which is what are we hearing and seeing? Um, and so I'll show you a couple graphs here. Love my graphs. Um, yeah. And it, you know, when it comes to home appreciation, and that's really what we're talking about, um, you know, back uh, really over the last 10 years, we've seen really consistent um, appreciation. And there's a lot that goes into that. There's demand, there's supply, there's time on the market, a lot of those things. And right now we're sort of at this unique place where inventory is at a super low um, place. Interest rates are super low, so that's causing demand to be high too. Plus a lot of people are looking to make changes in housing, uh, maybe get a bigger home uh, because they're working from home. But I love this graph because it really talks about um, um, it's the housing market recovery index. And we saw housing drop off there for a little while in April and May. Um, and part of it is everybody was just staying home, right? Um, we were asked to stay home, weren't going out to houses, things kind of stopped for a while. But, but um, before COVID, housing was really at a great place. We saw some, while it was single digit um, appreciation, kind of in the three to 4% range, that's a really healthy place to be. And um, while it dropped down, it has now come back. So demand is really strong, um, supply is low, so that's going to help keep uh, prices there. And um, we see a lot of different projections. And so this next chart shows a little bit about where some of the uh, future home price projections are. Now, this is a national number, and you can speak a little bit more to the Port Portland market, but I love this because you can see for the most part, whether it's Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, um, the Mortgage Bankers Association, National Association of Realtors, they all think we're going to be in a healthy place, really probably three to four percent appreciation. We are actually seeing a little bit uh, higher appreciation right now. I think it's closer to five percent nationally, um, but nobody thinks that's going to stay that strong. There are a few companies out there that think we might see a decline. Uh, very few that I know that really believe that that's the case. So maybe you can talk a little bit more to the Portland market. Uh, but from what we see, appreciation is strong and expected home prices to continue to climb. Yeah, absolutely. Many of us are, are seeing uh, that there are a lot of people still moving into the Portland market. Yeah. We continue to be strong. Um, we continue to be one of the top cities that people are moving into. And, and I do think it's because of our affordability. We're one of the, we are the least expensive major city on the West Coast. We're uh, lower than Seattle, lower than San Fran, Los Angeles, and, and San Diego. So that makes us very attractive on top of um, <clears throat> uh, just a housing demand that we've had right. here for a while. Um, new construction has kind of slowed down during the whole COVID things. Uh, I know a lot of um, counties were closed, so permits were not able to be right. issued. So that has just really increase the demand for new for homes, whether it's new construction or resales. So I, I'm in agreement with you, Brad. Um, we continue to have a very strong um, housing market here, specifically in Portland, and I really don't see a change in that in the near future. Here that uh, are in Portland. Yeah, um, one final comment. One of the things that's going to help too is we really are seeing the Fed has indicated they're going to keep rates down for the next couple of years. Interest, low interest rates will also help um, keep housing strong. Ultimately, that seems to be the biggest um, factor, right? It is. Yeah. Well, awesome, Brad. Thanks again. Really appreciate you being on as always. And if anybody has any questions about this, um, please feel free to reach out to me or Brad and we'd be happy to help you. Yep. Sounds great. All right, Brad. Thanks.